We're going to go to Job chapter 2. Song of Solomon chapter 2. Job chapter 2. Then we're going to read a little bit of Job 42. When you have it, please stand for the reading of the word of God. When I had you grab your neighbor's hand, that was the greeting. Welcome to BLCM. Amen. If you're streaming, welcome. We're going right to the word today. Is that all right? And how we do order worship, but I feel something. I feel something. Is that all right? Yeah. All right. Song of Solomon, chapter 2, Job, chapter 2, and Job 42. If you have it, say word. word. As you know, we are on this navigation, uh, navigating relationship series. And we have discussed building ships, maintaining ships, uh, how not to jump ship. We've discussed fellowship, leadership, kinship. And even worship and we cannot have a series on how to navigate through the challenges of ships and not discuss challenges of being Buddha or romantic romantic relationships and sometimes we shy away from preaching and teaching on marriage and relationships so for several reasons but not today somebody say not today, not today. I'm gonna use these three passages of text to lead us on our journey today I'm not gonna be long um, but we're gonna go into this real quick. Amen. Song of Solomon, chapter 2, I'm reading from the New Living Translation. Verse 2 says, Like a lily among thistles is my darling among young women. Like the finest apple tree in the orchard is my lover among other young men. Jump with me to Job, chapter 2. I'm going to read a little bit, verse 1, in the New Living Translation. One day the members of the heavenly court came again to present themselves before the Lord, and the accuser, Satan, uh, the, the original text says, thus Satan came with them. Where have you come from, the Lord asked Satan. Satan answered the Lord, I have been patrolling the earth, watching everything that's going on. Then the Lord asked Satan, have you noticed my servant Job? He is the finest man in all the earth. He is blameless, a man of complete integrity. He fears God and stays away from evil. And he has maintained his integrity, even though you urged me to harm him without cause. Satan replied to the Lord, skin for skin, a man will give up everything he has to save his life. But reach out and take away his health, and he will surely curse you to your face. I'm preaching already. All right, do with him as you please, the Lord said to Satan, but spare his life. So Satan left the Lord's presence, and he struck Job with terrible boils from head to foot. Job scraped his skin with a piece of broken pottery as he sat among the ashes. His wife said to him, here's where I'm going. Are you still trying to maintain your your integrity. Curse God and die. But Job replied. Job, Job answered. He said, you talk like a foolish woman. Should we accept only good things from the hand of God and never anything bad? So in all this, Job said nothing wrong. Join me quickly to Job 42. We're going to read that. We're going right into this word. When Job prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his fortunes. In fact, the Lord gave him twice as much as before. Jump down to verse 13. He also gave Job seven more sons and three more daughters. You may be seated. On Thursday night at a Bible study, I discussed relational warfare and how the enemy attacks relationships to keep the people in the relationship at odds. And in Job, the devil attacked Job, but Mrs. Job got the ramifications of it too, all because she was Mrs. Job. And so my title for today is All Because I Got Buddha. Uh, look at you and say, it happened when I got Buddha. Lord, help me to teach this in Jesus' name. God, I ask that if you choose, God, let the preacher show up, God. And ask right now, God, that miracles show up, we expect it. Uh, signs show up, we expect it. Wonders show up, we expect it. Healing shows up, we expect it. Prophecy, oh God, we declare it show up, we expect it. We are expecting you, Lord God, to show up today in the name of Jesus. We expect it. We expect it and we will press until we see it. We will pray until we see it. We will preach until we we will go until we see, but we expect it with our spiritual eyes. We expect the growth, God. We expect the increase, God. We expect elevation, God. We expect promotion, God. We expect more, God. We expect God in the name of Jesus. Not just a double fold, but a hundred fold. We expect that God. We expect increase in our families, increase in our marriages, increase on 
pray. Can somebody say amen? Amen. 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 I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Give me 30 minutes. I promise you the Lord will bless you. Just about everybody in this room has been moved up. A time or two or ten. Parents, can I just tell you that even your children that are still under the age have been booed up already? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And man, I, I just want to break the news to you. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. In your lifetime, <laughs> you may have also been booed up with a few different boos. Mm -hmm. Smart boo, professional boo, mm -hmm. always in school but never getting a job boo, wow. the weak and only boo, the secret boo. Illogical boo, repressed boo, you know the boo that doesn't really tell you how they feel until it all accumulates and then they blow up? Undefined boo, they will never tell you who you are to them. Okay, I have, I have this insecure boo. Uh, never uh, want to touch you in public boo, so nobody knows that you are there. boo. Jealous boo. Jerk boo, <laughs> clingy, needy boo, manipulative, passive, aggressive boo, okay, messy boo, broke boo, that's not, that's not nice, struggling boo, there we go, uh, a narcissistic boo, dramatic boo, childish boo, never take anything serious boo, uh, talkative boo, never available boo, unequally yoked boo, then you have fun boo, Make your laugh, boo. Yeah. Attentive, boo. Chill, boo. Young, boo, and older, boo. Yeah. Romantic, boo. Former best friend, boo, and the best, boo. Yeah. We just waiting on them. Amen. Yeah. Ladies, ladies, we all want to be booed up. A lot of us want to be booed up with Boaz. I see it all the time on social media. But can I tell you, Boaz had issues, too? Yeah. Yeah. He drinks and party quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Give me eyes, the Lord. Give me eyes. But you, you may have also been booed up with people that look good on the outside but have major issues on the inside. Uh, like David. David was anointed. He was a gifted man of God. He had a calling on his life. He was a musician and a warrior. So he was balanced. He, he knew how to fight for you and he knew how to get in his feelings to be there for you. He had a certain great future and he sent down everything you want. He was favored and focused but sometimes he focuses on women that are not you. Uh -oh. Brothers I'm coming down. You say I'm coming. Don't worry. I'm coming. Now, you might have even been booed up every now and then with a Moses who had a calling and assignment on his life but he was always focused on everybody else and never his family. Mm -hmm. Or Paul the powerful boo. My God he is anointed. His shadow heals people. Uh -huh. uh, he can cast out all demons. He goes to jail and get out and you don't know how, but he won't get married because ministry always comes first. Mm. Fellas, I, I'm, I'm sure most of you would prefer to be booed up with a, with a Ruth because Ruth pursued Boaz too. <laughs> ah, she, she pursued him as well. I get it, but remember her mother-in-law was in her business too. Mm. <laughs> her former mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but you, you may want to be booed up with a Sarah. You know, she's patient. She's smart. She's uncommonly understanding and uh, open-minded. Uh, but a Bible reader is in the house. She, she was a raw a die, but her beauty turned heads and can be a little Dating to you. Or Rachel, who's beautiful too, so much be so beautiful that Jacob cried when he saw her. But she had major insecurities. Or Mrs. Lot, watch this. But she was faithful, she was loyal, but she was always looking back when you were trying to take her to the future. Wow. Watch this, fellas. Am I coming down your street like this? <laughs> then there's Goma. You love her. You're called to love her, but she doesn't love you back, and you can't seem to get her out. Your sister. <laughs> can I just put a pin right here? Can we just take a moment? Can I just, can you holler at your girl? For, uh, can we just take a moment to thank God for the booze that taught us yes. what we don't want in a yes. booze? Yes. Yes. All the booze that taught you to be thankful for your current booze? Yes. Wow. Are you content not having a boo right now? Yes. Yes. Married folks, are, are you grateful for your, for, for your booze? Single yes. booze. 
thistles. And so she, he's appreciating her outer beauty and her inner beauty of how she stays planted. She's not double-minded. She's not with him on Monday and with somebody else on Monday night. She's planted. Even though she's surrounded by thorns, other women who are mean-spirited yeah. oh, and touching oh, and on. hurt and cutting, oh. she's not like them, and he points it out. He says, you are lily, you are a real flower. You're not fake like a weed. Yeah. Oh, y'all don't hear me. He said, you're a lily among thistles, uh, among weeds, because these women that I know that I've met are weeds. They look like flowers. They look like they're planted, but they're weeds. Who she was around could not match her inner or outer beauty. Watch this. She responds with these words. Like the finest apple tree in the orchard is my lover among other young men. I see the other young men, but there ain't nobody like my boo. She calls him fine. Don't get it twisted, brothers. Women look at you too. We are concerned about your physical aptitude as well. Hallelujah. She calls him a tree. A healthy, life-giving apple tree speaking to his internal aptitude. I'm going somewhere. Yeah. She calls him the best tree in the orchard. And an orchard is where uh, trees are cultivated. And so she's speaking not only to how much she appreciates his physicality, but she adores his maturity. Yeah. 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 She, she's saying, I thank you that you're mature among these other young yeah. men. Thank you for being my security. Thank you for being my shade in a shady world. Right. Oh, Thank you for being my tree, my safe place. Yeah. Yeah. She's basically mm -hmm. saying, blessed is the man who walketh not in the counsel yeah. of the ungodly, nor stands yeah. in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scorn of book. His delight is in the law of the Lord, and he meditates on day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. He brings forth fruit in good season, whose yeah. length does not wither, and whatever Job chapter 2, 
humble. Let's look at it. Listen to it. Verse 1 says, One day the members of the heavenly court came again to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came too. Mm -hmm. This is the second time we see Satan in the courtroom of heaven accusing saints of his crimes. Come on. The second time. He's there with the other angelic beings. Now, I want to just say this. The devil is not omnipresent, but he is present. Come on. Amen. He goes to court. Yes. He goes to the job. Yes. He's driving down the street next to you. Come on. Okay. Uh-huh. He, yeah. he goes into the meeting and asks questions when you try to leave. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Unnecessary questions. He, he's on social media. Come on. Yes. Come on. He's in your DM. Mm -hmm. He he liked it and then dislikes makes to see. Hopefully you didn't see that you, that he liked it. He he, he there. Okay. He's mm -hmm. he's present and and he come to church too. Because mm -hmm. if he sneaks his way into heaven, just know that he come up in here. And the last time Satan and the Lord had a conversation about Job, Job yeah. lost everything, yeah. almost yeah. everything. Um, in Job chapter 1, if you look at it, if you move up there, he, he, he loses Job because of a conversation. Job loses yeah. his livelihood, his transportation, yeah. his clothing, his food, his finances, his employees. Yeah. He loses his travel and his trade. He yeah. loses his children. He loses yeah. property. His future's yeah. gone. His legacy gone. Yeah. And it's all sent by messengers. He gets bad news all day long. And yeah. what does Job say? He says, naked I came from my mother. Mother's womb and naked shall I return. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Can I tell you how to praise God when you feel like you have nothing to praise God for? Just go ahead and praise Him for His name. God, I bless you, Adonai. I bless you, Yahweh. I bless you, I am that I am. I bless you, Jehovah Jireh. I bless you, Jehovah Nisi. I bless you, Jehovah Shalom. I bless you, Jehovah Rapha. I bless you, Jehovah Rapha. Yes. I thought I was the head and not the tail. Yeah. I, I thought I was. 
was above and, and not, I thought I was the lender and not, but, but when I look around, yeah. when I look around, all I see is trouble. All, all I see is just, when I look around, Job was, was hurting internally and externally, emotionally and physically. Isn't it funny that how sometimes if it ain't one thing, it's another, it's another <laughs> and another. <laughs> And another, and, and, and because of that, another, another, Job is emotionally spent. You see that in his words for 39 chapters. Come on, come on. There's a lot of preachers only talk about the beginning and, and the end, but in the middle there was some complaints from Job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here in, in Job chapter 2, he's covered with boils. And can I tell you that, that boils are a sign of an infection. Yes. Uh, and, and a boil is an inflammation of that infection. And biblically, boils, watch this, are a curse. That's it. That's it. When, when the Israelites, God's chosen people, were being delivered and rescued from Egypt, one of the plagues that God sent was a plague of boils. Uh, later on when they are released and the Lord sends the law, whenever an Israelite had a boy, watch this, they would have to show themselves to the priest and the priest would have to monitor the boy. Come on, come on. Wow. To see whether it was healing or spreading. And if it spread, they were declared unclean and could not live in the camp. Mm. I'm so glad we in the New Testament. Watch nobody. But boils were a sign of being unclean or being watched as exposed to something or someone unclean. And they would have to walk around with a mark on their back of being unclean. Yeah. Wow. Jesus. And, and and Job is being declared unclean and he didn't even do it. Right. Come on. Right. Sometimes when you've lost some things. And your health is under attack. It can look like you're cursed. Yeah. Come on, yeah. and so you start finding every word curse. Mm -hmm. Every curse of poverty and every curse of lack. Yeah. And, and then people start not wanting to deal with you. And they start running away from you and distancing themselves from you and rejecting you because yeah. they can see your mark. And it's all happened not because you did something wrong, but because you did something right. Yeah. Yeah. And the devil got mad at your righteousness. Come on. Come on. That's right. Come on. My God. And it, was, it, it wasn't even Job's fault. It's not your fault. I didn't ask for this today. I didn't ask for this sickness. I didn't ask for this pink slip. I, I, didn't, I didn't ask for them not to renew my lease. I, I didn't ask for the mortgage to go up. I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for my husband to lose interest. I didn't ask for my wife to stop loving me and trust me. I didn't ask. I didn't ask for my 401k to dwindle. I didn't. I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for the devil to get involved in my life. I didn't ask for the devil to get mad at my worship. I didn't ask for the devil to get mad at my prayer. I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for the devil to get mad at my worship. I didn't ask for this. And in spite of all of that, Mrs. Joe gets mad too. Not only is the devil mad. But boo mad too. Yeah. And it ain't even his fault. Watch this. You know, a lot of preachers, you know, condemn Mrs. Job for what she said. But can I remind you that everything Job lost? She, she lost. She lost, lost too. too. She lost the house too. She lost her children. All ten. In one, she lost. Does that make you lose your mind too? She she lost her livelihood too. She lost her Mercedes too. She lost it. She lost the BMW. She lost it. She lost it. And she was driving a Honda. She lost H, the O, the N, the D, and the H. She lost it. She lost it. All because, watch this, of who her boo was. It had nothing to do with her. It was because she was booed up to Mr. Joe. And sometimes your attacks have nothing to do with you. It has to do with who you are connected to. And so you have to be careful that you have to Verse 9, his wife said to him, watch this, 
Are you still trying to maintain your integrity? Yeah. No. Yeah. Are you still? <laughs> Curse God and die. But Job replied, I feel my preach coming on. You talk like a preach. Should we accept only good things from the hand of God and never anything bad? And all this Job said nothing wrong. Isn't it funny when things go wrong in your life, how people respond to it? Yeah. What people say to you and post about you? Mm. At first, they're saying it. They're like lilies Told amongst you. this. <laughs> and the finest tree in the orchard. But now Job ain't no good. Mm. Um, at some point, he was good enough to write them poems. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> At some point, he was good enough for your kind words, your affection, your attention, your quality time, your intimate fellowship. Your, you, you tagging him on Facebook. You tag. some, at some point, that was worth it. At some point, baby daddy was worth it. Come on. Wow. At some point, baby mama was worth it. At some point, the man you when, you, when, when you're booed up in your relationship or your boo is under attack, can I tell you three things to watch out for? Watch out. This is time to take some notes. I'm going to give you three things and I'm going to sit on down. When you're under attack or your relationship, your boo is under attack, number one, your boo will test your character. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Uh, your boo will test your character. Are you still trying to maintain your integrity, your character, your moral and ethical quality, your personality, your nature, your spirit, your worship, your prayer, your prayer life? Are you still holding on to that, Joe? You still going to church? Come on, talk to You still posting your scriptures? Come on, You still texting them? You still holding on to your integrity? Come on, man. Come on. Because remember, Joe was blameless and upright. Yeah, he yeah. was. He feared God and, and ran away from evil. He didn't. He didn't. Come on. He didn't sleep with it. Come on. Yeah. My, my, my. Come on. Oh. Come on. He, didn't, he didn't go to dinner with it all the time. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Wow. He, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't pull him in just for attention and affection and Come text on. messages and tell him, you know, he didn't he didn't pull him in just the good man, man. But, but man. he didn't pull him in just because he was knocking. Because if you're too new, you know you're too new, you might fall into the arms of a whole demon. Wow. Yes. Yes. And so, and so she says, are you holding on? Because if I look something down, it'll be wrong. Mm -hmm. We lost everything. Mm -hmm. Everything repossessed. We evicted. Mm -hmm. And now you're sick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Wow. There's no way you could be blaming it. Something is going on. Hey. Something happened. Come on. You ever been in a, ever been in a relationship or you might have heard, you know, people start talking about you when you're going through, I wonder what happened. Mm -hmm. I wonder why they left. I wonder what happened with the divorce. I, I wonder why, why they, do they still live in their house? Mm -hmm. I, wa I wonder, wonder, uh, uh, they must have lost their job because they did something wrong. Oh. And, and although it looks like your finances, your health, your job are under, it's really because of how your relationship with God is. Wow. And so the, the, the woman is really asking him, what are you made of? I ain't too bad at Mrs. Job. Because I would ask Mr. Job too, what are you made of now? How are we going to get out of this? Yeah. How are we going to pray out of this? How are we going to worship out of this? How are we going to sow out of this? How are we going to give out of this? Well, how are we going to get out of this? So when you're going through your boo will test your character, number one. Number two, your boo will test your conversation. Yeah. Watch this. She said, curse God and then die. Oh. In the Hebrew, the text here is Baruch Elohim Bemos. And so people translate it into curse God and die. But in Hebrew, it's really bless God and die. Yeah. Or since you're dying, go ahead and have a praise party and go sleep. Oh, yeah. Either way, oh, blessing or cursing him was not necessarily positive. It had some stink on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How you doing? Blessing, how to favor. You know, just have a little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Come on with the bless your heart. And, 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 I don't think Job expected her to say this. No, he didn't. <laughs> I, 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 I don't. Do you expect I don't your 
sound like you're not having a good day. Not you are not good for me. You sound. Yeah, yeah. And can I tell the women and the men, you gotta be careful when you start calling your boo out their name. You gotta be careful when cussing to them and cussing about them and telling them all about them because you're really projecting what you're going. Through. You gotta be careful what you say. Come on. So, so when you are having a critical conversation with your boo, watch your tongue and watch your tone. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I, I love Joe because even though she was cut, he said, I'm not going to respond how you are responding to me. You want me to cuss. You want me to fight. You want me to argue, but I'm going I'm to keep on cleaning. I'm going to keep on washing these dishes. I'm going to keep on praying. You want me to come out of character. You want me to sound like you, but while you are sounding like that, this is how I'm going to sound. I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall come. Watch this. Yes, yes. He said, he said the same God. I'm almost that allowed for good things. Is allowing this test. The same God who gave gave us the ten children. He's allowed the same God who gave us that. The same God who gave us the, 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 gave us the keys. The same God. And if the same God is allowing this test, it'll be the same God who will hand over the testimony. And do I have anybody in here today? That even though you're going. Tripped out on that day, but somewhere 
that will praise God because he's about to do it again. He's about to heal me again. He's about to touch me again. He's about to send break to again. I'll call your neighbor and say again.
and our cash app is dollar sign E-L-C-M-A-T-X. If you go on our website, you can also give through PayPal. That's good ways to give. Go ahead and give you today. Give a restoration seat today. This is a good time to give, a good day to give. Hallelujah. church please see minister Laron jackson and then also this saturday ladies our women of worship gathering this saturday is coming amen, amen. it's our health chat and laughter amen amen, amen. And so we're going to have the conversation that a lot of church will not a lot of churches will not we're going to have um sex education conversations have to have a sex health amen i'm sorry to say it in front of the babies but we got it we got it we got to learn about it amen too many of us are dying too early because of the lack of knowledge. Amen? And so we're not just going to learn about breast cancer, but we're also going to learn positive and powerful health tips from professionals. Amen? We have a partnership with Austin Community College, and professionals are coming in, and there's also going to 
going to be um, some health screenings. Amen? And so uh, we got some feedback that some, some visitors are coming in and being a part. So expect a mighty move of God. Amen? And then we're going to have some games and some fun and some prizes and giveaways. We're giving away cash on Saturday. Amen. So, so come, so come. We're giving away cash. Amen? All right, so come, so come, so come. Also, also, uh, uh, please be reminded that our community baptism service is next Sunday, so men, I'm going to need your help again. Amen? Amen? Our community baptism is next Sunday, and we will baptize right after worship. Amen? Amen. Uh, we'll also be giving away, um, giving, not giving away, giving our certificates for the last uh, baptism candidate, so uh, you don't want to miss next Sunday. Amen? Amen. Amen. Also, also, please take some flyers in the back. Please continue to invite the people to Jesus and invite people to VLCM. Stay connected. Stay in prayer. If you need me, contact the church. Amen? Amen. 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 I'm done with all of my announcements, but I don't know about you, but I felt something today shift in the atmosphere. I felt God do something great. Amen? Amen. And I'm gonna, we're going to dismiss. So if everybody was standing in the room, just, oh, we have a prayer saying, okay, let me hand over the mic. Amen? I'm going to sit down. Then we'll dismiss. Amen? Amen. God bless you. Amen. Thank you so much. Uh, I love to receive gifts. Amen. So thank you so much. Uh, everybody, you would just stand on your feet all over the building. We're going to dismiss. Amen. I know the uh, order of worship was shifted, but I kind of liked it. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Grab your neighbor by the hand real quick and you know how we do it. Make a commitment that for the next seven days, you're going to intercede and you're going to pray for your neighbor. Pray for their family. Pray for their, their spouse that they're married. Pray for their heart to heal if it's been broken. Amen. Pray, pray. Pray for their children, their grandchildren. Pray pray that they get increase on their job. Pray that a miracle, ooh, I feel that a miracle hit their house. Intercede, squeeze your neighbor by the hand. Let them know that they're not alone. Hallelujah. Let them know that you are in the fight with them, that you are praying with them. Our musicians' hands are, are working, and so I want you to remember to pray for them as well. Amen. Amen. But if you need prayer, after we dismiss, I'm going to open up the altar and I'll stand here and I'll, I'll pray and I'll intercede for you. So if you need prayer, you want prayer from me, you can come up here and I'll intercede. I'll lay hands. I, I feel the prophetic all over me so you can come. I declare. I need everybody in the room to just pray this in. Pray this in. This is what I want you to pray, that VLCM will be a consistent house of breakthrough. That VLCM will be a consistent house of healing. Deliver. The BLC will be a consistent house where we worship freely. The BLC will be a consistent house of love and a consistent house of increase, a safe place for souls to come and get saved and be discipled to their next level. The BLC will be a great place for leaders and, and laborers for the harvest to come. That BLCM is good soil and good ground to, to give into. That we grow, we spring forth, and new things happen. That BLCM will be a place of miracle signs and wonders. We're known for prayer, but let BLCM be a place where people get healed instantly. Where the lame walk, hallelujah, and the deaf hear and the blind see. That this is a place of miracles. Pray that in right now. Hallelujah. We declare right now that BLCM is a place where we are all on one accord. God, right now as we pray and we squeeze our neighbor by the hand, we declare victory, restoration, rejuvenation, energy for this season to be on their life. We lift up our youth even now and we declare victory 
and favor and success even in their studies. In the name of Jesus. I want you to squeeze your neighbor by the hand one more time. Let that squeeze declare that every prophetic word will not fall to the ground. That you will receive it in this season in the name of Jesus. And that by the end of 2019, hallelujah, that every prophecy will be fulfilled. By the end of 2019, that healings will come forth. By the end of 2019, you will see what you've been waiting for. In Jesus' name. Can somebody say amen? Amen. amen. If you need prayer, come in. Come on.